I'm Monica Rea, welcome to my channel, and as you saw, I'm going to show you how I made this Anastasia inspired pajama set or a loungewear set. Um, I don't know about you guys, but Anastasia was one of my favorite, favorite movies growing up as a kid. Like, you remember that one song, Once Upon a December, which was like my favorite, this one here? And like, not to mention all the beautiful dresses that she wears throughout the movie. And out of all of those exquisite ensembles, the one that I wanted the most in my wardrobe and the one that was the most practical would definitely be the lounge set that she wears towards the end of the movie. So how I made this lounge set or how I kind of created the basis of it would be my favorite pieces that I had already, which were, um, I chose to use my favorite sweatshirt and I chose to use a sweatshirt over like I say a t-shirt because sweatshirts typically have like that longer shoulder seam and by looking at these pictures here it looks like it's more that kind of styled shirt so and though I wasn't trying to follow exactly how hers is um, I felt like at least I do like that it's more comfortable <laughs> so I um, traced the sweatshirt and then I traced my favorite um, pajama shorts. So yes, I went with using shorts instead of pants because it's hot here. So maybe eventually I'll like get like thinner fabric and make the pants to go with it. But as for now, it's gonna be shorts. And I feel like it's easier starting out that way, tracing the clothes that you already have because one, you don't have to worry about making sure that your pattern pieces fit because you already know. And then you get to jump straight into the fun stuff like playing with the design elements and things like that, which is what I had a lot of fun doing because this project had a lot of firsts, like the chevrons, like I never have I ever done that. And making like the little ruffles as you'll see. Um, and this neckline, they were all nice little challenges, which I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it overall. And I think you will too, if you decide to make something similar to this. So I chose to use a bamboo French terry as the main fabric. Um, because of its weight, it's not super light. It's like a medium lightweight fabric. It's super soft and it's stretchy and perfect for loungewear. And for those who don't know, French terry is kind of like a nice mix between your jersey knit and a terry cloth. And, but it's like not as thin, like I said. So it's super comfortable and very, very soft. At least this one, I, I love it. And for the sheer portions of the shirt, I decided to go with a silk chiffon. This was my first time ever working with chiffon and really silk for that matter. Like any slippery fabric, I haven't really messed with. Um, so this was a first and overall it actually didn't go as bad as I thought it was gonna go. So I think the most challenging part would have been cutting because <laughs> like it moves around so much and like real quick you end up with the jagged edges so you have to go really slow but overall I think it went really well. Alrighty, so let's get started. All right, getting straight into it, I'm gonna go ahead and start with sewing the shoulder seams and the side seams together. So here I'm just, you know, pinning them in place. And like I said, the way that I made this, I essentially just did the base pattern of the sweatshirt and the shorts. So after I had already cut out the, the sweatshirt, I went ahead and just cut out a square, like folded it in the middle and cut out a square neckline. And then later we're gonna cut off the bottom portion of the shirt to make it more of a crop so that, that way we can add the uh, chiffon portion of it later. So now the shoulder seams and side seams are all done up and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this part. I put it on and at that line is about where I want it to fall. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this off 
and there's what we cut off probably turn it into like a scrunchie or something but here's part of the neckline the inlaid part or I guess the recessed part I was starting to accumulate over all of these projects uh, scrap pieces of interfacing so to go ahead and get rid of that I went ahead and just started piecing these together to make it fit uh, on here since they're pajamas like it's cool so I'm just sewing the two pieces of the facing together first here is the neckline with the recessed neckband if you will or border I don't know what to call it so now we're gonna move on to the chiffon piece I marked out three inch intervals on the chiffon for the peaks and valleys of the chevrons and then now on here I'm going to draw the chevrons so here they are cut out and now I'm going to pin them onto the chiffon and at this point I've already sewn I did a French seam uh, for the sides of the chiffon strip. I'm matching up the peaks. One side I think has a peak and one is in the valley of the side seams just to make sure that they all line up because that's what I wanted, why I did it on a fold was to make sure that there wasn't any discrepancies or variances on the side seams and the chiffon wasn't wide enough to cut it on a fold. So here, the arduous task of sewing these strips on, which I'm sure there's probably a better way of doing it. I just was like, you know how you get excited about a project and you just wanna sew, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm trying not to put too much tension on it since the top fabric is obviously stretchy and chiffon is not. I'm trying to not put too much stress or tension on it so that it doesn't um, get too like rip rippled. And so here I'm just going ahead and attaching the chiffon piece now that I've got all the chevron sewn on. I'm just stitching that onto the shirt. And now here's what it looks like with that sewn on and now we're gonna move on to our lovely sleeves so here's what the piece looks like all cut out and it's just so like it's like a liquidy I just I don't know how to explain it it's so beautiful though I love this fabric but yeah I was actually sewing like this slow <laughs> So I'll speed it up for you guys, but yeah, I was super nervous. I thought it was going to get jammed or something, but luckily it didn't. And now that we have the sleeves all hemmed up, I'm just attaching them onto the shirt. And I went ahead and hemmed up the bottom as well. So there's a closer look. And now back to the sleeves. So as I'm sewing these sleeves on, you guys, the worst thing ever happened. You know, like when you're in the zone, you're, you know, going right along. I'm just about to be done with this shirt. And guess what happens? No, God! My bobbin ran out. It's like, oh, for anyone who sews, like, you know, it is such a pain. Like, it's a full stop on whatever you're doing, and now you gotta fill up the bobbin. But you know what? I prefer having my bobbin run out mid project than having to whip out the seam ripper because I swear, like, if I ever have to take the seam ripper out, I'm done for the day. Like, I'll have to start, you know, tomorrow because, like, it's just, I can't. <laughs> 
I'm just wrapping up the sleeves here and I'm doing a French seam with all of the edges that have the chiffon of course you need to completely finish them because the chiffon frays this French terry does not so I'm just going ahead and doing the French seam here which was actually very very easy and you see how you can see that the edge there right through the chiffon so that made it like extra extra easy doing this French seam and now we're moving on to the little uh, ruffles that I'm going to put on the pockets so I'm gonna go ahead and hem them up and put on a little gathering stitch real quick Voila! Here is the front panel of the shorts, one of the front panels. How I'm going to place it is the ruffles in between the front short panel and the pocket. This piece of the pocket is actually going to be the inner front of the pocket if you will I'm just gonna sew those three pieces together the inner pocket layer the ruffles onto the front short panel alrighty and now that we got that sewn we're just gonna go ahead and flip it over and top stitch the ruffles down So that they look like this. Ta da! So those are the front two pieces, and now this is the back piece of the pocket, and it's gonna go something like this. So we're just gonna sew across the top there and down on the side, and that's what the pocket will look like. I'm going to go ahead and work on the other pocket and just connect that back piece of the pocket onto the front and sew around. And now it's time to start putting the shorts together and actually making them look like shorts. So to do this, I'm going to place the short backs on top of the short fronts, right sides together, and then stitch the crotch seam and this is the, the seam that goes left to right. I'm going to be using a stretch stitch, which is that little lightning bolt looking one, number four. It's highly recommended to use a stretch stitch, especially when you're using a knit fabric or something that's very stretchy or if you're working on a bias because it not only makes the, the seam very strong, it also stretches with the fabric so you don't have to worry about popping the seam just in regular wear. I'm gonna go ahead and put both of those on top of each other again, right sides together, and so the other crotch seam, and this one goes from front to back. And with this also you want to try not to put much tension on it so that the seams are as flat as possible which mine had a little bit of um, rippling if you will but it's cool so that's what they're gonna look like now I'm just gonna go ahead and flip the shorts inside out and sew the side seams and with these shorts, I'm not doing any type of French seam because with French terry and most other knits, they don't fray. So you don't have to worry about having to finish the edges or anything like that if you don't want to. Of course you can, but I chose not to. Alrighty, so now on to the waistband. For the waistband, I made it about two and a half inches wide to account for seam allowance and the one inch wide elastic that I'm gonna put inside there. So here I'm just pinning it on to the seam allowance portion of that I sewed the waistband on. 
and I sewed the elastic to the seam allowance and now I'm just gonna flip this over in order to close it all up here I am stitching in a ditch using the stretch stitch <laughs> you say that five times and now for this I am putting a little bit of tension on the waistband because I want it to have that little like ripply look to it or kind of like scrunched and now on to the uh, hem of the shorts so I did also use this the stretch stitch on this and it kind of gave it that like also that ripply look which I don't mind it because I have the ruffles and I kind of like the texture anyway so and I cannot wait to try these on all right and here is the reveal so I absolutely love it it's super comfortable and I'd have to say that this is my favorite fabric for loungewear I want to work with this fabric more the French Terry and actually the chiffon wasn't too bad anyway but I would love to hear from you guys in the comments of what you think and what type of things would you guys have done different or if you have any different kinds of um, techniques that you would have used let me know in the comments Alrighty, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and also consider subscribing if you haven't already. And thank you so much for those who have already subscribed. Like, uh, it just, it really makes my day. But anyway, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.